Okay, Joe, after the defeat at the weekend, the general health of, of the camp, how is it looking at the moment? Yeah, we're, we're all right. We've still got a bit of illness and, and sickness going through the group. We've had, um, obviously, a number of bodies go down in the last seven, eight days, which hasn't been ideal. Um, lads, Some lads are motoring on and, and spluttering through it. Others are banished from the training ground, so we don't know where it's come from, but the quicker it moves in and out, uh, the better, because it's... Uh, Nasty for 48 hours, you know, people spewing up, being sick, um, visiting the toilet too frequently, etc. Um, so, yeah, not great, but uh, got to keep moving through it. You mentioned that it was one of the lowest moments of your career last week. Is Have you got it out of your system yet? Is it going to take a good win to get out of your system? Um, I don't, it's out of your system. I think when you see Boreham Wood pull Aki on the Monday, I don't think anyone's really that bothered. If they'd have pulled Man United at Liverpool, We'd have all been gutted in here, you know. Um, I think Tom Gorringe and Wilder will be gutted because obviously the finances and, and, and the revenue um, is affected by you know not making the third round and not pulling out a glamour tie. Um, but let's let's be honest, if you know, for me as a coach, disappointed. Uh, but we can't win the FA Cup, or it's very unlikely we're going to win the EFL, you know, League Cup and, and the FA Cup. We can win the you know Papa John's and uh, and win promotion. So they would always naturally be the priority. Um, and again, if, if the lads were going to have an under-par performance, you know, they've been superb in recent weeks and months, um, I'd prefer it to be in, in the cup competitions you know, rather than the league be, because we had a slow start and you know, we're playing catch-up every single week if, if we want to get in the, in the shake-up, in, in the promotion, you know, chase in, in May. So back to league action, travelling to Bolton, what sort of challenge are they, they going to pose to us? I think again, as I said before the Peterborough game, I felt you know the next two games, Peterborough and Bolton, would be a real examination of where we are. You know, teams that would be expected or certainly projected to feel finish in the top eight, top ten of the division. Um, and I think they're a really good side. You know, nice big stadium, a favourite ground of mine. It made me debut there in the Premier League. Um, so yeah, look, I'm looking forward to going back and, and again finding out where we are and, and how we respond to, you know, the disappointment of, of Saturday. I mean, you know, the, the reality of it is we'll have, you know, different options available in terms of team selection. Um, so you know, we're hoping for a clean bill of health and uh, and, and put right um, the poor performance on on Sunday. Just finally, just something a bit different. Get your thoughts on the Winter World Cup. What have you thought of the tournament so far? That's good. That I've, we can't beat World Cup. I don't care where where they hold it, when they hold it, what what goes on in those countries. You know, there's as I say, you know, go back to the one in Germany in 1936. Was it 36 the World Cup before the outbreak of the Second World War? You go back to Argentina in 76. Was it 78? Um, under the the dictatorship there, and you know, there's a lot of stuff going on with the 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 the, the political side of it. But I honestly think. Apart from the empty seats in the stadium, which is a pet hate of mine, um, I don't like to see that in um, big games. And knowing how desperate people would be to, to be in the stadium watching the games, apart from that, I think it's it's building nicely as a tournament. And um, England have qualified with a bit of a marge, comfortable margin, shall we say? Albeit not everybody's happy, and we're into the knockouts and I think have a live chance at, at, at winning the World Cup, same probably as six or seven other nations. So. Um, yeah, look, I think it's it's a good World Cup, and it, I think it's it could be a great World Cup. I think this England group of um, d- are developing, um, they're, they're becoming a bit of a tournament team. Um, the Germans, who are a bogey team, might go out, so that would be a good one. Um, you, you know, it's it's as I say, I think it's wide open. There must be, I, I think, there genuinely must be eight nations who feel we could win this. Um, and I think that always bodes well for, for the competition, especially as we get into the knockout stages now. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's me, me eldest son's first World Cup. So it was nice to um, enjoy the, the victory over the over the Welsh yesterday, um, especially with some of the Welsh lads in here and the, the stick they give out, especially after England's draw with the USA. They were they were quite vocal. Um, and and the fact that Adam Collins never made the squad, he should have been in the squad because you know they needed the goal yesterday and who you're going to turn to, you know, seeing the subs they were making, and I think, I think Wales could have taken more risks that would have given them a better platform for the national team going forward with with team selection. I get why Rob done it, you know, being honourable to the people who had uh, kind of got them there, but it became a bit of a um, one step too far for the whole group by the look of it, and and. You haven't qualified for the World Cup for that long. 
I think you'd be really disappointed after um, you know the show and that they, they put on. I'm, I'm gutted for Wales because um, you know some of the greatest players I watched as a kid. You know Neville Southall, Kevin Ratcliffe, um, etc. Were all you know Wales internationals and Liverpool is, is the capital of uh, North Wales, isn't it? You know it's just over the border there. So would have been nice for them. Um, but as I say, hopefully England can go deep into it and bring it on.